Hello everyone and welcome back to Jollywood Studios. Now last episode we started with building the park with expanding the parking lot. And that turned out to be pretty big so we're gonna build a big park to compensate for the parking lot. Now today we'll be starting with the entrance area. Which is gonna be a three part uh, series. Because it took a bit, little bit longer than I expected. So uh, I more fun I guess yay. Here I'm just altering the already existing entrance area I built with the parking lot back in January. Um, but it doesn't fit at all with a studio spark. So I, uh, I, I kept this little entry arch with the kiosks for tickets. But I changed the colors and added everything on top of it. So it looks a bit more... Um, not, not art deco as I promised in the last episode. Maybe a bit more just like... Hollywood, I guess. I'm not really into architecture. Well, I'm into it, but I'm not very knowledgeable about it. So, if you have any feedback on the architecture of the buildings, let me know because then I can change it and it will be better. <laughs> Luckily, the rest of the buildings uh, sell it a bit. It works well together. Now, when you watch a movie, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. A movie reel like we use still every day. No, we don't, but uh, I mean, it's an iconic type of image for a movie park thing. So I made like a movie reel pattern in the ground here. Uh, just using temple pieces and, and rotating them uh, around a bit. Now, I don't know if guests will notice it, but from the, from the sky it looks pretty good. You might also have noticed that I changed the color of the pads to be a bit more lighter. So it looks a bit more summer tropical -y what we are going for here now you notice that fountain in the center of the entry area well we're gonna build like a weenie mini weenie in there uh, another film reel well what a surprise well yeah I really wanted to do this because it seems like a, a fun thing to build and I'm actually happy with how it turned out but it was kind of a struggle to build with the basic pieces I don't like the texture of the basic pieces but they're the only thing you can use that like consistently looks uh, the same together but yeah and when i'm done with the park in the far future i might do some some custom stuff myself in blender and try to learn that a bit to to enhance the park even more i already downloaded a, a couple of ugc stuff just for realism like vents for the for the backstage area some shades and stuff well i'm actually using them already in the entrance area so i know some people don't like using ugc because you need to download it and it slows down your game um well i haven't noticed any any performance issues with it so far but if it's if it's going to be a problem i'll try to stay away from it a bit more but right now i just want it to be as realistic um as i want to and those objects really help with that. So here I'm using the curbs uh, you, you normally use for guiding the guest in the right direction. But here uh, I'm using them for the film reel we're gonna place uh, down. So um, it's a tiny bit tricky to get it smooth, but uh, I managed to do it enough so it looks pretty good and not janky. So also uh, I'm using music in the background obviously here but uh i don't know if it's too loud for you guys or if you guys want music in the background at all i like it because it adds to the vibe of the park and uh, i'm listening to it now so it's easy for me to talk with that in the background it makes me feel less lonely i guess hmm. now last episode i asked for people to submit some some uh, made up movie ideas and uh, i actually got a, quite a few good ones so christine she uh, she's recommended some titles, uh, Beauty and the Priest, which can be quite controversial uh, depending what way you go with it. But uh, I think we can work with that later on. Uh, the Shawshank Reception might be good for a hotel later on. Who knows? And Trisney Studios, he uh, he said the greatest snowman instead of sh showman. I guess. Uh, Hugh Jackman would want to be a part of that, so I'm gonna call him and see uh, if he can arrange something and actually shoot a movie. Now, I, I thought of some movies myself too. Uh, 
instead of uh, Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic Nark, which uh, seems much more interesting and a lucrative idea. Maybe incorporate some type of Scarface character into it. Maybe some dinosaurs uh, chewing on coca leaves. The possibilities are endless. And another one was um, a launch tower called uh, the Final Constipation instead of a destination. Now you can imagine what that is themed about. We need a lot of porcelain. But yeah, I'm uh, just continuing with the entrance building here. If you're wondering how the guests know how to go around the fountain and how they walk there in the first place, uh, I actually placed down paths underneath it in a grid, uh, grid system. So they can basically walk anywhere except for where I put the curbs and the, the barriers um, beneath the ground. So for those people who didn't know that. Oh, here I'm just making the roofs of the entrance buildings a bit more pointier with those uh, Ghostbusters uh, items. I forgot to make a, a blueprint out of these buildings so I had to manually recolor every piece. Yeah, it wasn't fun. The building system in Planet Coaster isn't quite perfect but at least it's better than uh, the one in Roller Coaster Come World. Which I might do a series on if people are interested. See how far I can come without the game crashing. Now in the end I'm still not 100% happy with these ticket buildings. They are a bit different than the rest of the entrance area which will, which you will see progress in the next uh, two episodes. But uh, I don't know, I might change it. Yeah, I cut out uh, the rest of the recoloring part here. It isn't interesting to watch anyway. But uh, here's the fun part, the uh, entrance gate. Which, like, is so original. Yeah, yeah, I bet no one has ever seen that kind of entrance before. And uh, I'm actually getting a patent for it. No, it's universal entrance, but it works here and uh, it fits the theme. So, hey, hey, hey here we go. Um, now, if you're wondering how I made this circle, uh, you basically take a piece and put the uh, that's the one end of the circle and you put the other end of the circle straight across it and then you got the, your dia uh, diameter of your circle then you just copy it around and the circle starts to form sometimes it's a bit tricky with the uh, axis and stuff but you'll you get to know it if you practice with it I actually use it quite a lot here so if you know uh, a bit of the uh, techniques in the game, you can um, you can see how easy it can be to build something like this. Even though it, it like structurally it isn't that impressive, it's just a couple of arches, but it it looks better than a box building with a tilted roof on it. Now, since I'm quite a new YouTuber, I'm like trying to get the right uh, video length and stuff organized. I was thinking maybe like. 10 to 15 minutes myself, nice and short, but still long enough to properly watch. Personally, I'm not too fond of like watching a 45 minute time lapse video. Um, and it's harder to record too because you have to have talking points and stuff. But yeah, last time we talked about made up movies, and this time I want to ask people what kind of rides they want to see in this park, what type of coasters, what type of track rides. Um, Myself, I would like to see uh, a, a proper um, motorbike coaster because I haven't built one and I don't see many on the workshop either. So I guess we could really try some interesting stuff there with like a, a cop chasing after uh, a getaway car or car or a motorcycle, you know. I've got some uh, pretty cool things planned in my head, but working it out is always uh, different than imagining in it in your head. Yeah, I'm just finishing the detailing on the gate here. Um, this this style definitely worked better in my opinion than the little kiosk buildings uh, we built earlier. Maybe because I built this from scratch without uh, with uh, the idea of a studio spark in mind. And obviously it's a ripoff of the universal thing. Uh, I only changed the colors pretty much. Yeah, the completion of this uh, arch also marks the end of this episode. Now next episode we're gonna build uh, a customer service building with a backstage area which is vastly different than the front facade so I'm really looking forward to uh, showing you guys that. And uh, you can expect the next episode uh, 
10 a day. So you can look forward to that. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next episode.